Now, I know it's not a popular, popular uh, position to take. If Rookie of the Year was picked today, I give it to Angel. To no one's surprise, Caitlin Clark was named unanimous Rookie of the Year by the Associated Press. Shannon Sharp has one thing to say to the Caitlin Clark haters. I had they gone quiet now. You say they quiet? Y'all quiet now. Shannon Sharp goes crazy after ESPN analysts love dissing Caitlin Clark. They should be embarrassed. Although honestly, Shannon should be too. Just a little bit. <sighs> when two rivals get drafted in the same year, it is always going to be entertaining. Especially when one of them is uber famous and the other one is Angel Reese. If I wanna be that, and I know I'll go down to history, I'll look back in 20 years and be like, yeah, the reason why we watching women's basketball is not just because of one person, it's because of me too, and I want y'all to realize that. Early on in the season, it looked like there might be a close Rookie of the Year race. We'll break down all of the reasons why it's not close anymore, but safe to say, Shannon Sharp kept the receipts. Yeah, the, but there's a lot of women that was on ESPN that had a lot to say earlier about this. I had, they gone quiet now. You say they quiet? Y'all quiet now. Now I want somebody to send that thing. He didn't want to name any names, but he made it real clear who he was talking about. You know who I'm talking about. I ain't gonna call your name, but you know who y'all. Y'all had a lot to say early. Y'all had a lot to say early. And if you think I'm talking to you, I am. <laughs> Make no mistake about it, I'm talking to you. You know who you are. One of your well former coach. We dug up the dirt and we know exactly who he means. And you won't believe what she said a few months back. If you had to log your vote today, who would your rookie of the year be in the WNBA? Carolyn Peck was a former college women's basketball coach, having one of the most incredible seasons in NCAA history back in 1999. Winning it all with Purdue, she was the youngest person to win a D1 women's title, and she still is, in fact. So you'd think she'd know more about hoops. Really tight, but when you look at where the teams are, and I also went a little deeper and I looked at plus minus and I also look at net rating. And when you look at that, Angel Reese has to get the nod. Now, this was back in July. And again, everything has changed. We'll get to why in a minute. But even back then, that was a bad take. Peck said it was because... Angel Reese has to do the dirty work. I have said it's not sexy to have to battle and rebound inside and where you've got to do the blue collar work. But this is a player that has come in as a rookie and is putting up grown woman numbers. Reese's rebound numbers were astounding, having broken just about every rebound record that exists. But she's a grown woman because she's great at one skill. It's a horrible take, basically saying that Clark isn't as valuable to her team because she's too busy focusing on silly things like scoring and setting up the offense to worry about rebounding. Insane. But ESPN wasn't done with their bad takes. I have said this all season, BC. My rookie of the year is gonna go based on the standings. Already problematic. Monica McNutt is gonna judge a rookie by their standings? That's a hugely flawed argument, but let's see where she goes, okay? The Sky right now are in the playoffs, so you'd have to give the nod in my mind to Angel Reese. Hold up, Monica. Clark was drafted number one, which means the Fever were bad when they got her. The Sky were a playoff team last year. So if all Reese did was get back to the playoffs, how is it more impressive than the Fever even getting close? You see how that's crazy? But it gets worse because what Clark has done since these comments completely ended the argument in the most insane way possible. Fresh off her winning uh, Eastern Conference Player of the Month for August, Caitlin Clark dropped her 100th three, becoming the quickest to reach 100 threes in WNBA history. Clark also recorded her second triple double and becoming the fifth player in WNBA history to record multiple triple doubles in a single season. Clark has set the all time single season WNBA assist record, not just among rookies, but among everyone. She's also the top 10 in scoring while leading the most efficient offense in the league. Again, as a rookie, Ignore how important she's been for the WNBA as a whole for a moment, because it doesn't really have much to do with the Rookie of the Year award. The fact is, she has been no less than a top five player in the league, and that might even be underselling it. Oh, okay, I, I thought she, I, look, I, I don't think there's any surprise. I mean, she averaged 19 points, six rebounds, eight assists, one steal, scored the most points uh, by a point guard in WNBA history. The most amazing thing is not the unanimous Rookie of the Year, is she's first team all WNBA with the big dogs. 
She's on the team with Asia Wilson. She's on the uh, team with Stewie. Let that sink in. She is a rookie, and this is where she is. And, oh yeah, still want to argue standings? Since the Olympic break, the Fever have gone 8-4, and four, sticking them firmly in playoff position. They are locked in at third in the East, after having started 8-1. and one. Because I don't see anybody control a game the way Caitlyn can. And what has Reese done? No offense, but you know it's not close. Heinz Allen. No good. Reese with the rebound. That is the sixth of the game. That is 405 on the season. A new WNBA single season record. I don't know if people understand. Just like Clark, Reese broke a record among all players as a rookie. Not easy. Not only did she lead the league in rebounding, she broke the all-time single season record with room to spare. And good thing she did it early too, because her season wasn't quite as long as she had hoped. Shocking news out of the WNBA where Sky rookie Angel Reese is out for the remainder of the season with a wrist injury. Reese made the announcement on social media. It's a huge blow to the Sky, who are fighting for the eighth seed with the Washington Mystics, who fell apart this season without their superstar and former Sky player, Elena Del Don who took a break from her career this year. Reese finishes her rookie season having played 34 of a possible 40 games, with averages of 14 and 13, plus an all-star nod. By the way, those 13.12 rebounds per game are more than one full rebound above the former record holder. Sylvia Fowles had 11.88 in 2018, and Asia Wilson would have broken that with 12 per game this year, if not for Reese. Wilson, by the way, broke the all-time scoring record this year. So that is three main statistics with new record holders this season. What a year for the WNBA. So it's not like Reese is a scrub, and in any other year, it'd be fine for her to win. But the Sky were exactly in the same place as last year, in eighth seed. She's a fantastic supporting piece, but she is not Caitlin Clark, literally the catalyst for a team with title hopes. Shannon Sharp put the ESPN analysts in their place because they were dead wrong. It's a shame that Reese didn't get to finish the season because now there will always be people saying that's why she didn't win the award and not Clark's second half surge. Of course, Sharp was in bigger headlines this week and you know what we're talking about. <sighs> My man, how does that happen? He accidentally booted up Instagram Live right before having a little fun with a mystery woman. He, of course, tried to say his phone was hacked, but we all knew the truth. Eventually, he fessed up. Tell him the truth. I said, I just got to tell him the truth. My phone wasn't hacked. Uh, it, wasn't an, it wasn't a prank. It was me being a he healthy, active male. I mean, y'all thought I was bull jiving. Hey, hey, I'll get it in. Real talk. Hey, oh, oh, Joe. See, I, I don't, man, I don't be lying. I don't lie. Okay, hey, lying. Come on, I man. These sparks hard, oh, Joe. You do you, Unc. Anyway, do you think Reese ever had an argument for Rookie of the Year, or was that all talk? Do you agree with Shannon attacking the women who are dead wrong back in July? Let us know in the comments and watch one of these videos next. Listen to the wrong opinion, useless NBA trivia, and garbage rankings for more NBA content.